What is happening comic fans? Welcome to my basement. Today we're going to be taking a look at a prequel to one of the greatest sci-fi comic series ever created. Of course I am talking about the Inkle. We have the Inkle Psychoverse here. Is it any good? Does it suck? Is it just a cash grab to promote the upcoming film? I'm going to let you know what I thought about it. As well we're going to be discussing the reading order to the entire series. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back. In case you're interested in a comprehensive reading order for the series, we first have Before the Inkle by Yodorovsky and Janjatov. Then we have the book we're discussing now, Psychoverse. After that, we have The Inkle by Yodorovsky and Mobius. And then we have the Yodorovsky Library Collection, book number three, which collects The Final Inkle by Yodorovsky and Ladron, and After the Inkle by Yodorovsky and Mobius. So that is it for the Inkle stuff. However, there are many other books created within this same universe we're going to be discussing at the end of this video. And I do recommend reading these books in order of actual release. So here we have Psychoverse written by Mark Russell and drawn by Yannick Paquette. In our introduction page, we have some information regarding the reintroducing of the Inkle universe, a universe that was created by Alejandro Jodorowsky and Mobius. And it pretty much talks about Jodorowsky, you know, he's 93 years old, and you know, him passing the torch along and reintroducing the Inkle in comics and film, and of course, of its extreme importance throughout the years. So what the hell is the Inkle for those of you who are new to this series? I'm going to take a blurb straight from the introduction page that I feel sums it up pretty accurately. The Inkle is a mind-bending, galaxy-spanning, comedic adventure about the tribulations of John DeFool, a low-class detective in a degenerate, dystopian world who finds his life turned upside down when he discovers an ancient, mystical artifact called the Inkle. While the Inkle sends Dufool on a journey full of sex, violence, action, and intrigue, the story is, at its heart, a tale of philosophical, spiritual exploration filled with humor and love. So what is going on with this specific story? What do we get here? Well, we get mostly all the key main players in the Inkle universe, our bumbling class R detective, John Dufool, and his concrete seagull sidekick, Depot the badass mercenary, the Meta Baron, as well as his son, Kill Wolfhead, and a few others, as well as some new villains. The events in this book, um, you know, take place slightly before the events of the Inkle, so it doesn't go too far back in time to John's upbringing like we saw in Before the Inkle. You know, I've got a few problems with this book, including the writing and the art style, and, you know, whether it needs to exist in the first place. But we'll talk a little bit about the story first, which can be a bit complicated at times. In the world of the Inkle, known as the Matterverse, a futuristic sci-fi dystopian setting, there exists new worlds, strange technology, you know, different creations, which apparently come from this place called the Psychoverse. So we have two different planes of reality in conflict here. We have these new villains, agents of the psychoverse that are super pissed and are tired of having their creation stolen they breach the barriers of reality and reclaim well in attempts to reclaim their stolen property and they're all about this luminous inkle and it's up to john the meta baron and kill wolfhead to stop the destruction of reality pretty much so that's all i want to say in terms of the story there definitely is more to it does this book deliver in terms of story and art? I would say no. With all due respect to writer and illustrator, the task of continuing on a series like this and making it work is pretty much impossible. If you were to compare the storytelling, world building, and art to previous books created by Jodorowsky and the countless other European artists in the same universe, this book does not come close. All the other books in the series are far superior 
in every aspect, sorry to say. That doesn't mean that this book sucks. If you are a fan of this series, you may wanna check it out, but just keep your expectations in check. This does not feel like a European book, because it's not. This is very American, even by its format and size. It's pretty much the size of your standard trade paperback. I did enjoy seeing these characters again, however, if I wasn't already familiar with them, it would have been quite difficult to establish their very specific personality traits, but they tried. And this just feels like a cash grab to hype up the upcoming film. There are also two other books in the same universe that are set to come out this year as well that I'm not really looking forward to anymore after reading this. As for the actual build of the book, I found the interior paper to be a little bit damp and actually smudged some of the ink on some pages, which is really surprising because Humanoids is known for publishing some really high quality books, so that disappointed me as well. As for the mapping of other books within the Inkle universe, you have a list right here. You can pause the screen if you like. I do highly recommend all of them, so check them out if you're interested in this universe. That is all I have for this video. If you enjoyed your time here, think about hitting that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video, of course. Take care. Mm -hmm.